Hey guys, I'm Plan Singh and you're watching KK Today. And today I'll unbox and review Asus B350 MK motherboard, which I bought from eBay and it was sold around 7500 or 7600 rupees. And since I had 10% discount code, so I bought it around 68 or 6700 rupees. It has AM4 socket and as you can figure out by the name, it is B350M. So it is a micro ATX form factor motherboard. I'll drop the link in the description. If you want to buy it, you can go there and buy it. And this may be my first unboxing and review in the same video because I'm using this motherboard in this PC and I had the review ready. So it is stupid to make two videos for review and unboxing separately. By the way, if you don't know, which is highly likely you're watching take it to z so let's watch the unboxing and review so this is the motherboard in electrostatic packet we also got user manual io seal and some screws this is manual with a cd in it there's also a separate status instructional in it and well this is a user manual okay let's take out this star of the show by the way we also got two SATA cables with it so let's rewind once more we got two SATA cables user manual SCD IO sealed and few screws okay you can see this is CPU slot and you have to pull this lever to install the CPU and these are screws to install CPU cooler there's set pin CPU power socket and here's two RAM slots this is x16 pci 3.0 slot and these are smaller 2.0 x1 slots these are SATA ports and other plug-in ports for on case io and controls these are external io ports on motherboard so we got two ps2 slots a vga and a dvid output ports four usb 3 ports two usb 2 inputs one ethernet port and one port for each audio in audio out and line in sound Although VGA and DVI-D output ports will only work with Ryzen APUs which are just launched because none of Ryzen CPUs have integrated graphics. So let's take out the SATA cables. As you can see one has L-shaped input and other has a straight one. Now let's install the CPU. You have to align these triangles on the CPU and slot. Pull up the lever and easily drop it in the slot. Now push the lever back. Okay, now your CPU is installed. How easy, huh? Now let's install the fan. First of all, unscrew the fan rail installed on motherboard. Okay, here's the thing. Pre-installed screws on the fan rail on motherboards are very tightly screwed. So you should hold the motherboard with one hand and then unscrew it because you don't want to slip your screwdriver and then damage any other component on the motherboard. Align the fan with screw holes and place it on the CPU. Although remember to keep the direction of the fan in a way that fan plug which will be plugged into the motherboard port can reach to that port. Now tighten the screws. In this case you have to press very tightly on the screws to get them in threads. Now let's install the RAM. Make sure that slots are open. Align this cutout on the slot with the cutout on the stick. Place it in the slot and press down on it. In this case you can see it is up from one side so I'll press it again. Ok it clicked and it's installed. I took apart the upper cover of fan earlier because it was making it hard to reach the screw so I'll install it now. Ok now I'm going to connect the VGA cable. Now 24 pin motherboard power cable and 8 pin cpu power cable let's power on as you can see pcie slot is powered on let's power on the system with a screwdriver so it's power on fans are moving since my gpu is still not delivered and i know it will not post without graphic card but before connecting my monitor was showing some things like which mode it is on hdmi or analog but now it's just blue screen and then blank so it's getting something so it's good sign for me 
okay so i'm using that motherboard in this pc and it is working fine i'll say this is a great motherboard especially with ryzen apus just launched and you can make a pc with those apus and this motherboard and believe me it will be a high quality office pc with mid-level gaming capacity of course you cannot game at extreme settings on apus now since this motherboard has b350 chipset and it supports overclocking and ryzen cpus and apus come unlocked so it is one of the cheapest solution for overclocking anything lower than this will have b350 chipset which is very basic and very low capacity that uh, is not for overclocking and since we are talking about overclocking my ryzen 5 1600 cpu which has base clock speed of 3.2 gigahertz and boost speed of 3.6 gigahertz runs constantly around 3.5 gigahertz and even when all cores are working at full power i get around 40 degrees temperature on motherboard in winters and around 50 degrees in summer and for the cooling solution my pc has two in intake fans on the front and one exhaust fan on the back and for the overclocking i was able to overclock my ryzen cpu up to 3.8 gigahertz in winters and basically i was denied more overclocking because of cpu temperature not because of motherboard's capability because i'm using a stock cooler and you know they are not very good coolers okay now let's talk about what are the specification mentioned and what is the real thing so it can take up to eight core cpus which means ryzen 7 1800x but i don't think you will be building ryzen 7 pc if you are buying a hundred dollar motherboard and seriously if you are building ryzen 7 pc you you need something higher although it also supports older ethelon and seven generation a series cpus from a AMD, but seriously you should not buy them now on the ram side it can take up to 2 ddr4 dims up to 32 gb of capacity and up to 26 66 megahertz speed you can overclock them up to 3200 megahertz although you have to fill both slots in order to overclock them up to 26 66 megahertz for audio it has audio tech 8 channel high definition audio codec which in my use works great especially for microphone because i don't use discrete sound cards and using motherboard ports for uh, you know microphone uses brings internal noise into the recordings but it was not much of a problem with this motherboard it has four SATA ports i am using one for ssd one for hard disk and one for optical drive and i still have one spare for whatever i will use in future if i want to so what i'm trying to say is you got more than enough SATA ports for normal users and big thing is is that they are all 6 gbps gray SATA ports and another great thing with asus motherboard is you got ai suit with it right now it is ai suit 3 and whatever they will launch in future you will get that with this software you can do a lot of great things while running your pc for which you have to go to the bios settings in this you can control your cpu and chassis fan speed led lightings overclock and calibrate your cpu and most importantly you can update the bios in it too so that was my user scenario and i'll say this is great motherboard for budget pc building especially as i said before ryzen apus are launched with the integrated vega graphics so if you want to build a pc using ryzen apus or cpu this is a great motherboard for starters if you are building a low budget pc or mid-range pc because with this board you got a board on which you can overclock and it's cheap too now here's tip for buying it don't buy it from amazon okay if, if that's available on amazon don't buy it because it will be higher priced although you can compare the prices i'll drop the ebay link from where i bought it and you can also check out md computers i'll drop the link but most of the time they have this motherboard out of stock but when it's in stock they are the cheapest seller for this motherboard at least and if you don't know md computers they are one of the biggest online sellers for pc parts in india you can check that website yourself and i'll drop the links in description too although i don't have any affiliate link with md computers because they don't have any affiliate program so i hope you enjoyed this video and this video will help you so if you like this video please like this video and if you dislike it you can always dislike it and most importantly you should subscribe this channel subscribe button is below and you can subscribe from here too if you want to watch videos in hindi my hindi channel is here you can subscribe it and if you didn't watch this video you can watch this video this is a great video so i totally hope we'll meet in next video till then goodbye best of luck